on camera. As Cuckoo says, I love you, Gabby. There you go. Very nice from Cuckoo. What does Jing say, John? <laughs> Jing is telling uh, Natsumi in Visaya, don't be nervous. At at, don't be nervous. <laughs> I love that you kind know. of try. That, that's some psychological <laughs> damage here from Jing. I love that. <laughs> I know that that's what you get when everyone's been former teammates here. Smoke out from the side of TNC. Smoke from Blacklist as well on the far flank. Doesn't look like anything's going to be coming off of this. But this is it. This could be the end of her content here, Mike, if TNC managed to clean sweep. Oh, I know. So Maybe TNC it. feels generous, you know? The thing is, it's never the end of the content as long as, uh, as, long as either of these two teams are around. You know, the content never really stops <laughs> through these qualifiers. I, I don't care either way. I think it's going to be great to watch both these sides uh, go for a low bracket run. I wish we could have both of them, you know, later on, Jonathan. But sadly, we can only have one. TNC with the five-man smoke still having a look around for a, a, an attempt at a fight. They may have their fight down at bottom lane if they do go for the bounty. And Palos is certainly thinking about it. Ooh, gets the start off. We'll go for a run. But this should be first blood to go the way of Blacklist Rivalry. The Palos is actually quite tanky. He has got three stick charges to use. We'll pop them. But he will go down as Tim's will take the kill. Hmm. Now that's a lot of commitment for that kill. That was two blood grenades flying out. So you don't have that utility in the lane any longer. Do you manage to get a creep block on top? Gabby does not crit down the creep this time around. He's not going to be able to get that early level advantage. I don't think it's the worst thing in the world. Certainly not what you want for Palos, but Tim's getting first blood. Not the biggest deal. Kind of happy it's not Gabby and trying to scale up. Still taking a look at that mid lane, of course. You've got Yoe once more on his Zeus up against Abed on his Static Slide Storm. And this should still be a pretty strong lane for Abed, all things considered. Again, it's it's not something the Storm should lose at. He can get some good pokes out. Would he overload? He can just slide around the way while standing back away from any Arc Lightning plays. Right click trades Yoe can bring out here. So it, it should be manageable. Rune control is very important for both sides. Do you have good wards on both ends to watch for any rotations in? So I'm keen on seeing if we see some more action earlier on at the six minute mark. As it is right now, you already have very low HP out on Zhao up top. And the top lane is going to be a little bit more challenging, it does feel like, for Ursa into Pango. Like, Natsumi's not going to have the best of times into Cox. Jing's going to be able to zone out nicely with the dead shot once he has the calling. Trying to run down with the Ursa, or trying to even escape as the Ursa, is not going to feel great as well. So there's a lot of factors to consider up top that should make it a little bit easier for TNC to get what they want from that lane. It should be. Of course, that final lane down a bottom lane, you've got Gabby and Tim's against Bosku and Palos. Looks like it should be a pretty easy lane for Palos. Like, even against that Brewmaster Rubik combo, which can be quite deadly, I, I feel as though Palos should still be able to just passively regen throughout this laning phase just fine. We'll see what does happen. I mean, there, there is certainly a lot of kill potential with the Brewmaster Rubik, but I think you're looking at Cuckoo, if anything. Yeah. It's a much easier target to gun down. Palos not the comfiest as well. He did go level 1 Dragon Tail for that rune. So he's not able to just breed fire, get some free right-click trading wins, and just go from there. Is having to play this lane a lot more passive than you'd want to on the DK. That's giving Gabby a lot of room to, room to control the lane as he sees fit, get some free CS. It just makes it a little bit tougher for Palos to look for more early on. Still, lanes are looking a little bit better for Blacklist once more. This is something we saw in the last game. Their laning efficiency is just that much higher. Abed, again, taking control on mid quite nicely. Bot, starting to threaten a little bit. It's certainly are. Palos. It's alright. Again, start to regen up. You, you want that couple more points in the Worm's Wrath to... Right, hold on, Tim's taking a bit of damage here from Cuckoo. We'll be all right. You know, Arbet in that mid lane, like he's having a very good time on this storm. Mind you, Yo is right behind him in terms of CS, as they will give a, a high five to each other just casually. But that that mid matchup, it's not quite as bad for the storm as you would have once expected, especially considering that static slide that you do have available here for Arbet. It certainly makes CSing a lot easier without taking too much harassment. And it does. It's not too bad for Yoe. I think this is the expected outcome of mid. It's going to be very even either way. It's going to boil down to rune control, and both sides have easy access to the water runes, although Abed will be able to snag a nice bounty rune 
and work his way back into the water rune as well. So he's got a lot of top ups to play with here. For the man pool. Same thing for Yoa. Already have the early ward set up to get this movement done. So but the mid is actually playing really well in both ends. Just max efficiency, clearing out creep waves, and getting all the runes they can. Sidelanes are fairly tied in. Getting, there's not much room to leave either core on the safe lanes. So getting this rotation out doesn't seem too feasible. Maybe again around a six minute rune is the big one for Yo and Abed to fight over. You are starting to see Natsumi really pull ahead in CS in comparison to Palo, so that is the concern, but they are isolating him quite nicely. Natsumi, there's a lot of damage being dealt to this Ursa, but he does manage to get away. Jiao making it rather hard to continue the follow up no! with the with the fire spirits being available. And Natsumi, the thing is though, like you see that kind of damage output, it, it's just gonna continue to get worse here for the Ursa. Kind of the one thing I really dislike about these pango changes is this this double up, this double jump facet. It's it's a lot of damage. That it is. It's funny as well because I think we saw who was it? Was it Abed? He ran this pango with the speedier facet, and that also felt great. It just feels like this hero is set to really flow back into the meta at some point, Mike. I mean, it kind of already is on the off lane, anyhow. It, yeah. it never leaves. It never leaves. And it has a lot of ways to go about it as well. But yeah, that, that is the challenge for Natsumi. Again, he's going to be easy to kite around once they actually commit the calling as well. If they can see a kill opportunity lining up here for Fox. I do like this ward from Zhao to spot out any sort of rotation, Natsumi. although. Yeah, they'll drop the calling here. Natsumi just going to try and fight here with Cox. They can't really commit for the kill all the way. Is now the Wrath of Nature, rather the Thunder God's Wrath comes in. Cox, oh, he'll dodge out the oh, fire oh. spirits. Cox is all right. Oh, oh. oh boy. They'll find a double here up at that top lane. Very strong start for the off lane of TNT already. And a horrible start for Black this run. Yeah, it's a, it's a, it's a rough start for Blacklist and a great start for TNC. Really heads up players from Cox. I, I was going to say, Mike, that's the difference when you clean your mouse. You know, you, you get all these six plays because you don't have to worry about the grime in your hand. And you're with a strong hand like Cox flexing it out. Get all those clicks in this Gabby. Unlike Gabby. I mean, Gabby gets caught with his pants down here and immediately gets bursted down as Tim's is also in trouble. This is what happens when you have a dirty mouse, Jonathan. Just getting punished <laughs> non-stop here by TNC. Another kill to go the way of Palos now as TNC Predator suddenly finding four kills across the map. Four very nice kills, I might add. Is it Jing mid lane? We'll get jumped here by Arbit. Arbit trying to claim a free kill for himself. The TPs are incoming as Jing will barely go down. But now Cuckoo, he'll get the frostbite off. And Arbit, he's already low on mana. He might just be dead. Oh. Is that, like, everywhere you look, Blacklist Rivalry, they're, they're trying for, for kill attempts and it's just not worth it. It's now Zhao trying to steal a wisdom rune away. Does at least get that. So you do get that steal, but that's probably going to be another kill to go the way of Yahweh. We'll see if he can deny himself off here. It's like Yahweh actually gets a bottle refill mid team fight as well. <laughs> Eventually. It looks like Cox will take. Why not? Yeah. And that last play on mid. I mean, it's a little bit awkward. The frostbite didn't quite connect into the silence, but once it faded, Abed immediately walked. And he walked right into it, trying to run out of the slow. That led to that kill. Just really good jukes around from Jink to stall out as long as possible, giving that opportunity for the rotation in. Blacklist, 6-2 to two now. Again, in terms of net for it, it's still not too bad. Abed's still getting farmed. Natsumi's still managing to build up top. I'm wondering what his first item is, whether or not he goes back for this Battle Fury or tries to go maybe a little bit more active in this game. Maybe a Diffusal, some such here lined up for the Ursa. Nah, just going for the Battle Fury long haul kind of farm. I think that your concern now is really Yoe with his timing, right? The phylactery is going to be the start of the rolling uh, annoyance that the Zeus will provide into the Kaya, into the Shard, into the Yasha Kaya. Now, and this Zeus is going to be an issue. You need some way of control coming out here from Abed. He is going for the Witchblade first. I'm wondering if he'll want the Orc in this game. Because if you can just jump Yoe, get the Orchid off, it's, it is going to be an easy kill. And he doesn't want to go for Yules too often now. And a BKB is nice, but I'm not sure if it's that's nice in this game. It's a, it's a pretty rough kind of affair so far for Blacklist. I mean, he always already starts to take over quite easily here on the mid Zeus. 
You know, the one saving grace is Arbet is farming pretty decently well here on the Storm, but even he's 600 gold behind that Mitsus right now, and he's, again, the saving grace for the team at the moment. Yeah, the best case scenario right now is the Storm. So it's maybe a rotation to come down towards the bottom lane. They might try that again. Like this, they will start on the T1 bottom tower. Palos is hanging around. You've got Xiao around as well as Tim, so with with the storm to come in. In fact, Natsumi even shows up now, so Palos, he's completely surrounded. Palos, he will drop as five heroes from Blackness Rivalry rotate, but Yoa will find Xiao in the meantime. A one-for-one one, certainly in the favor of Blacklist Rivalry as they jump Cox here on the on the Pangolier, though Cox is still surviving. He'll get into their Rolling Thunder form eventually, though there is going to be a zip in from Arbit trying to stop it, and he will get away with it, but he oh, might drop himself. Cuckoo. Cuckoo is doing too much work. He'll take down the Storm. And the tips as well. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, it. Oh. Oh, you know, TNC. Go on, John. What is no, no, I was going to say, Cuckoo's still Peacemaker. Yo is yeah. not a Peacemaker. He's instigating. No. He's tipping. He is. He's getting some I content flowing. <laughs> I, 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 the, the mind games, you know, knowing that this team has had some squabbles in the past, Jonathan, you know, you, you start playing some mind games. Start messing yeah, around with them a little bit. You throw a few tips to Gabby, you might throw one here and there to Arbet, you know? Notice how nobody else has been tipped <laughs> but those two. No. They're the targets. A uh, master that, class the, instigator is Yoa. Yeah, the peacemaker gets the call for peace, but the team does not have to. Still, in that last fight, I have to give uh, a highlight to Tins. That stolen frostbite stalled out Cox long enough that they could get that cleanup. Would have been an even worse fight without that stolen frostbite for Tins. Still, it, it's not the cleanest. Nine to four. TNC still feeling great. Again, you're killing off Palos, which is nice, but it's a DK. It doesn't care too much about being top net worth, not as much as the tempo that you'd want to find here for Blacklist. When Natsumi shows up to the fight without even finishing up the Battle of Fury, it's still two parts away. So progression is being made. But this timing just feels so key. It has to be the Battle of Fury into Blink BKB, a team fight into Roshan. And every time that timing gets pushed further and further away, it just feels, feels like Blacklist gets choked out a little. You know, you're going to have to rely on Abed, who does change his build-up as well. He does go for the Orchid instead of the Witchblade. So I like seeing this. He understands he has to jump in. He has to get control on Cox or on Yoe and clean up from there and hope for the best in a 4v5. Yeah, it's pretty rough for, for poor old Arbet. Again, it's just so much pressure on the Storm to, to make plays happen as top lane. They are going to zip in, trying to go after Cox. So Cox will be able to get the Rolling Thunder off in time. And now Arbet's completely out of mana. Now, Tsumi could also be in a bit of danger if they want to continue. But Cox, of course, will have to retreat as he's the only one left. The bottom lane, they might look at Gabby and they will. They've got the Frozen Field going as well, though. Gabby, of course, will just pop the Primal Split and it will be just fine. Yeah. Only you level take a big tool away from Blacklist. At the least, they don't have to worry about Gabby trying to sneak into one of these next fights for the next two minutes if they'll try to force this out. I think um, I like this build as well from Palos, bypassing the Mage Slayer. No need to dodge out magic damage here. Wants some control as well. Wants to be able to follow through from the Dragon Tail stun with an Orchid of his own. Yoa playing really forward. Xiao almost dying, but not quite. Thunder God's Wrath wouldn't have been quite enough damage to finish off the kill, because you do have some, some rain drops available here on the Phoenix. You can see Arbet, he wants to make this jump in on Yoe, but he's just not confident that he'll actually be able to secure the kill in time. And in fairness, Yoe does have a haste rune bottled up right now, so I, I wouldn't really advise a jump by it. Yeah, he's got the protection of Fosku as well right behind with a frostbite. It can just make it really awkward for Abed, even with the Orchid. And with this kind of game, again, you're in a really good spot for TNC so far. And this is allowing a lot of recovery time for Natsumi, just lacking the recipe into the Battle Fury. Once that farm ramps up, that's when TNC needs to try to put a stop to it. They are dodging quite nicely again on Blacklist then. They do go out with a smoke, Jiao and Abed, and they still have this Orchid to use on the Storm. Cox would be, would be a big target that's very easy to go for here if they do spot him out. They could have a Gander. Abed 
He'll zip in, walk it out. He should have the skill. Not. He does have the mech up, so he does heal a little bit. Tries to go into the Rolling Thunder Thor form, but can't quite. I mean, still, a, that's a, a lot of commitment for that one killers. That mid tier one tower in the meantime was taking a fair bit of damage, and Cuckoo and the gang will just go ahead and take down Gabby down at that bottom lane, so it's an even trade anyway. And now a smoke out. As two, Jing and Cuckoo, they'll rush towards the mid lane. There is now an Orchid available on Palos to boot. So that could make Arbed's life very challenging. They are trying to steal some ancient stacks away, but Palos again has the Orchid ready whenever. He just needs to get within range of Arbed to be able to get that silence off. But ultimately, of course, they will secure their stacks first. Always take the money while you can. Yeah. Minus 12, they don't manage to clear it out on Blacklist's end. And again for TNC, it's this control factor. That really starts to worry you for Blacklist. Uh, they are rushing some BKBs here. Abed's going for his. Again, Natsumi going for the typical Blink BKB as well. That should provide some protection here once these fights start to break out. And it does feel like the threat of control from TNC is a little bit stronger than what you have in Blacklist. I think the one thing, again, for Blacklist is their scaling damage is great. Woody Ursa, the Storm as well, has a lot of room to grow. Now in the line, you can mitigate some of these uh, control aspects with an Ags up on Abed, but that's way down the line, probably after full BKB and perhaps some regen with, again, a Meteor Hammer here for Abed wouldn't be too bad just to have more to play with. Still, I mean, you're you're eventually going to hit this point with Blacklist where Roche is going to be a threat once Natsumi's ready for it. That is the concern for TNC. They have set up some good forward wards already. They're watching the outpost up top. They've got some info if anyone sneaks in or walking into the gate and trying to start up Roche. They know what they've got to contest. Yoa is going for the Yult, so he does want a different defensive item. Uh, up against the Orchid, does want the protection. So I, I like that. Again, adjustments and builds for Yoa has been pretty clean. Let's see what happens here. They are starting to poke into that outpost area. Zhao was showing himself. to get out. It's all right. You can see, unable to, to find that pickoff. Of course, it's still a bit too early as well to really think about Roshan here for TNC. Just continue to just stay together. In fact, they'll TP down towards the bottom lane, whether you could think about going after Gabby. They'll cancel the TP off here for Palos. Never mind. A blacklist. They'll take their time to just farm up while they can, of course. You do have the full Radiance now built up on Gabby. Blink almost up on Natsumi, which will allow him to get involved with his team. And you know, once you do have that Blink up on Natsumi, and there it is, I, I think it might be time to just smoke up and try to force a fight, I even without the BKB up. The, the Blink timing of the Ursa is very, very potent. That it is. I'm just concerned. If, if Natsumi... Jumps in a little bit too far forward can be painful. Again, he has to worry about being kited by the calling, by all the slows from Cuckoo. There, there's a lot of counterplay potential. It has to be a clean initiation, and this is more reliant on Abed than anything else. He is the only one that can really zip in outside of the Ursa Blink. They've got to get some target identification going here on Blacklist. They do have good wards watching, and they've got a sneaky ward right by the Tier 1 on the cliffside, not spotted out. They've got another ward by the ramp. Aren't able to play off of it yet. They will smoke. Try to swing up top. Cox would be a decent pick off again. Especially while he's waiting for the Guardian Greaves. So the Orchid's going to be max effective here. If they manage to get that. But they don't They don't fully commit in that walk. They're going to see Cuckoo in a moment. Cuckoo? But Cuckoo's going to break the smoke of Gabby. And, uh, it's just going to make it so the smoke really amounts to nothing. As, of course, Blacklist Rivalry, they just give up on it completely. They're not going to really, ever, really be able to get any kind of surprise reveals off. There's going to be now a, a counter smoke out from TNC. A five-man smoke, in fact, running right towards the dire jungle. Closest target to them right now is going to be Tim's, and they actually avoid the smoke breaking on Tim's, which is probably a great thing. But they might have to just settle for the Rubik anyway, and it seems like they will. Just take the easy kill. 
maybe even think about that top tier 2 tower, because you do have that dragon form available. Uh, and it seems like that maybe that's just what you do. Yeah. And they're just keeping it shoved and they're not fully committing. I think they understand that they don't want to push the envelope too hard either on the side of TNC. They don't have their own BKBs up yet. They'll clear the mid tier one instead. Nice safe target. There's a lot of room being bought here for Natsumi to play down bot. So he is getting that build up into the BKB quite nicely. And again, once you have that BKB into Ursa, it becomes much more feasible to start to force these fights out. Look into the Roshan as well. Could try this flank on Tapalos. No. I mean, very kind of slow game here between these two now. 11 to 5. We really haven't Gabby? seen a big fight in quite a while. As Gabby now being caught out, silenced up by Palos, but they don't have the follow-up damage to it. It's not really close enough to their DK to really help out. A, a lot of tension in this game, number two. I mean, both sides just not confident yet to try and make these plays happen. It seems like Blacklist will relegate themselves to waiting for the BKBs to be up before they really get going properly. Plus, Natsumi and Arbet are both working towards their own BKBs as we speak. And that may just be the fear of this, this Cox Pango and, of course, Yoe on that mid Zeus. It's the amount of damage they can pump out. You, you just want to ensure they don't have those big damage outputs uh, to fly in during these team fights. Yep, just play it secure. They tried to go for Term Mentor, but... It, oh, okay! Okay! <laughs> that's what you get for going for Term Mentor. Yeah, Just that's where he kill. almost drops with him. <laughs> <laughs> they didn't even have vision to know that form was being taken. They just know the timing. It's like, all right, they've got Nerissa. Maybe they're trying it and get a freebie. Oh, Cuckoo. <laughs> Cuckoo and Jing. <laughs> Cuckoo and Jing both drop. Imagine. <laughs> that was just Cuckoo. Never mind. Uh, Jing will be on. Uh, I guess that's I thought Jing died hey. with him. But he's all right. Nah. He got his shard at the cost of Cuckoo's life, but hey, <laughs> you know, at least no one died. Tip out Palace as well. What did Palos do? He attacked the, the thing before Cuckoo could leave, but Cuckoo was channeling his ult. I think that's more than anything else. <laughs> oh, they eventually find a Tormentor without taking losses here in Blacklist. That's some good news. Steady state in the game. Yoa is going for the BKB now instead of the Yules, which, again, can't fault him when you have the shard and you can just stand and fight and be able to do some good damage as well. I mean, you are scaling up nicely on Blacklist, to be fair. Right, like, once Natsumi has that BKB we've been talking about, it starts to become a little bit tougher. I'm surprised they're forcing the smoke now, as Abed is still lacking the BKB recipe, but maybe just feeling confident enough to try to sneak out this Roshan. And there are wards here to watch from TNC. They can tell really easily, especially since this ward will be de-warded by Tim's or not. He wants to stay in the smoke. Roche does fall fast. It certainly does. So this is an Ursa draft you're up against. You don't want to allow this Roshan to go this freely, but like this rivalry, to get away with it. Just again, the, the, the pace of the game is just so slow. It feels like these, uh, these objectives are almost very just freely being given the way of Blacklist Rivalry. TNC is still playing a very, very patient style of game, just farming up their own BKBs and their own core items here. And I, I just wonder how much you're willing to sacrifice, because I, I, I do fear for TNC, like once this BKB on Natsumi and Abed is up, you know, Yoe is going to be lacking a lot of damage for quite a while in these fights. It's not going to be a fun time. Assume he won't be. Just having this capability now to just freely get the splits, freely get the zips across. It's going to be a big part for Blacklist in. I'm starting to reel back some of this lead. 3k lead is marginal at this point for TNC at 23 minutes in. The core to core matchups and farm are fairly close to each other. Yo is the only real outlier here. I think one big thing you're getting is a lot of farm on Jing. Same thing goes for Tim's, but. Armoretto is basically becoming a secondary core. Mage Slayer up, going for Atos into likely the Gleipnir. So you can start to do some damage in all of these fights as well. Got to see Blacklist maximize this Aegis. Once the BKBs are up, and it does look like Natsumi's getting his now. And Abed again, about 200 gold away, 100 gold away now. 
with these BKBs and the Aegis, they have to make some plays happen. Like, it, it cannot just boil down to a farm game like this because, I mean, you do scale more linearly on Blacklist, but it's not like TNC completely falls off as the game goes on. Oh, I certainly don't think they do. I mean, you've even got supports like Puerta who can slowly start to transition into carries. And, you know, this Zeus, Pango, and DK, they certainly aren't to be scoffed at at all. Blacklist, they'll get their first BKB on up. In fact, that was their second BKB, and now mm. it's time to smoke. First time. No messing. Death like, oh, why even pop the smoke if you could just run to the mid tier one tower? They do have an idea. Now like, they have the sneaky ward. Um, their position is so clear. I don't know if you can even afford to smoke after that point. It feels like they have to smoke by the tier two, leave the tier one. Sneak around, Radiance try to find that kill. Could still snipe people, but Dying look at the way TNC are positioned. Scattered all across the map, not giving any big teamfight opportunities out for the side of Blacklist. And they're just hugging their lanes, trying to break some smokes or scout some movement out. No risks being taken here by TNC whatsoever. He's down to the bottom lane. They're having a look at Cox. Thunder God's Wrath is going to make it rather hard. And Cox still trying to get the Throne Thunder off in time. Can't quite get it. The silence is there. He's down. Very nice pick up here from Natsumi. And Abe just barely able to pick up the Pango. Certainly a, a, an important kill to say the least. There's nothing happening across the map. They, they desperately wanted a fight. In fact, they might even go for another. They'll head up top through the Twin Gates where Palos was farming. Palos actually still sticking around this area to move. May get oh. caught, will pop the dragon form, but Natsumi immediately will jump in as Palos, having no idea they were coming, is forced to pop his own BKB, but Natsumi, well, he will decide better of it. Seeing the TP's incoming, does run back towards his team, but now they know that DK's got no BKB. So they'll smoke up his five, they'll try to force another fight. They've got a good angle this time around. No BKB and no dragon form for Palos as it fades away. You can see the pain. That John Wells bring out on these on these high HP heroes, the Sunray with a hot spot at this point. With a free eye for Vizier, so much damage. Natsumi, you're gonna find Cuckoo here. Another nice freebie here for the for the Ursers. Cuckoo just hanging around the mid lane, does get punished immediately. Blacklist rivalry, of course, off the back of this, we'll still be able to find that top tier. Nothing really changes too much, just Cuckoo dying along with. Yeah. Got a couple of freebies off this. Aegis overall, not the worst Aegis usage coming out from Blacklist as it's set to fade in half a, half a minute. Also not ideal. I think it feels really good if they find a tier 2 not soon going forward. What a main toss out, they've got Gabby locked down, the silence is there as well, into the orchid and Gabby is gone. A beautiful pick up there from, from the side of TNT as Yoa will secure that on the Zeus. And suddenly that top tier 2 tower push is completely failed. Again, they needed something like the tier 2 to really maximize this Aegis. They didn't really find core kills. They force out a BKB, which is nice. It doesn't feel like it's enough, really, to have you be comfy in this game just yet. I suppose you still have this fresh BKB on Abed. He's going for the Eternal Shroud, which is a very good solution for what Yoa is going to try to do in the middle of these fights. Yoa, for his part, going in to the full side of Vice very early on now, post BKB. So it wants that instantaneous control before the BKBs can fly on as well. I think it's rather interesting that Cox has went all in on the auras, right? Like Guardian Greaves into the pipe. He is focused on just keeping his team alive. I think that's just down to the fact that Jing is set to do damage. So they, they read us, they, they know they don't have a support that can really carry auras for them. And they'll have to do it on the offlane instead, allow Jing to scale up in this damage. And again, he's got a decent chunk of damage already. Like he gets Vindicator's Axe. He's still going for that Gleipnir, which is still a ways off. But, again, you can't count out the scaling here with Jing just taking over that core role from Cox later on. This is five man smoke out now. They're going to try and force a fight here, TNT Predator. Up towards the top lane, they could run right into Natsumi here. Natsumi backing off at the right moment, not breaking the smoke, so instead they're going to run right into Zhao. They'll see Gabi as well. They'll make the jump in onto the Phoenix, but they've got to run away to a silence onto Gabi. So Gabi in danger to boot. Gabi is gone once again. You miss out on Natsumi just barely, but it's still a couple of great kills here for TNC Predator. 
And even they can now think about that top tier 2 tell. Yeah, and start setting up. Wins. Does look like they'll just play it a little bit safe, pull Yoe back, get the wisdom. They could set up for next Roshan. They should know it's going to be about a minute and a half until the respawn timer shows itself. A really good snipe. And just a nice core pickup plus the support. You can see the chain control coming out. You can see the impact of the calling. It's just it's just too much. You you do have the Manta ready now on Gabby at least. So that same move with Orchid and Chain Stunts might not be as easy to pull off. But again, it just feels like Blacklist aren't able to capitalize on these spikes. Like after double BKB, we haven't seen anything. After Aegis, still nothing. You've got Meteor Hammer now fully up in Abed. And the Storm has just been basically farming the entire game for the most part. Radiant to be careful here, not zooming the gang, just hanging around that twin gate, but TNT is slowly making their move down around that area. But Roshan is set to tell us when it will respawn in 30 seconds, so a pretty big objective to TNT to try and fight Blacklist over. This will come in handy. Blacklist are actually holding their ground on this twin gate. Maybe looking to just immediately blow somebody up if they do make their appearance down this bottom lane, but TNC, they think better of it. They will retreat. In Blacklist, they will just continue holding that area around the Twin Gate and the Roshan pit. Let's see if they get an early Roshan time. They will not. It's pretty average. Right, forced to fight right before. Smoke out, no vision here from TNC down bot by the ramp by the gate. They spot a big one. Really changed this fight, but they're hugging uh, tier they're twos. Away. They're going after Palos top lane. Oh. Palos, he's up top by himself. He has no idea they're coming. The jump is there. Palos getting bashed up immediately by Natsumi into the vortex of Arbit. Has no way out and he is just dead. Heads up play from Blacklist Rivalry to just TP mid smoke and just forget about the bot lane altogether. And it is, but gives this opportunity out now for TNC. They smoke up. Yo is in the area. This is still enough damage from them if they get the right jump. Natsumi and Abed are back though. They just came through the twin gates. Gibbs may get blown oh. up, but still survive a little bit longer thanks to the sun rays. Now the egg does drop from Shell. This is not the fight they wanted. Yo is in huge trouble. Yo is still trying to run, but Abed would not leave him alone. Still, Yo is somehow makes it out as out Abed is out of mana. Abed is in trouble. Natsumi what? going down a boot. Natsumi is down. Gabby's still trying to fight this one out with the Brewmaster Primal Split, but all the Brewlings are just dying left, right, and center. Gabby's only got one left. He'll go back into the main pool, but he's in trouble. Between a rock and a hard place, he'll try to run away with the lift out from Thames. And he barely makes it out, but they've lost Natsumi here in this fight. This is not what Blacklist wanted. They will continue trying to hunt down Yoe, but Gabby may pay for it with his life. Trying to run. Cox will chase him down. Gabby needs some help. Abed is around the corner, ready to come in whenever. As Gabby will barely make his way out to boot. Zhao, in the meantime, TPing on the high ground of the Twin Gate, also makes it. What a fight. Two going down for Blacklist Rivalry, one buyback from Tim's. And now Roshan suddenly starting for TNC Predator. And you don't have the utility to fight this for Blacklist. No split, no egg. This fault's way too quick for them to contest. This time around, Cuckoo with the saves. The Glimmer Cape right in time to bail out Yoe. Abed just pushing himself too far, running out of mana, not able to really keep that chase going. Good jukes from Yoe all around. And they were fighting under vision. That fight started outside of vision, you know, not quite under the cliff, and then just slowly moved closer and closer towards that cliff ward where TNT had all the info to get these jukes out, get that movement out, get their positioning right for that fight. Very forced movement from Blacklist. Does cost them. They find Palace, but they lose Aegis. 9k lead now for TNC. And Blacklist. I mean, how much more will we need to farm up for? Abed with the Ags is going to be a big one. That that could be the timing that really changes this game. But it just feels like every single time we see these item spikes, it's not amounting to enough. Like, Sight of Vice is up in Yoe now. He can get that instantaneous control onto Abed and just burst him down if he's not careful. Abed? He'll be alright. We'll get away that they will get the Thunder God's Wrath off to see how far he zipped, but he's fine. Still TNC. Onto the top tier 2 tower now. Still looking like a stronger team. The 9k advantage. 
Blackness Rivalry, they've got a lot of work to do to try and make their way back into this game too. And here, if they pull off this win, John, TNC, they will knock Blacklist out of the uh, the road to TI qualifiers. Not exactly what you would have hoped if you're a Blacklist Rivalry fan. TNC one mm. step closer to making it through to the next round of the lower bracket, and they're even going to find a nice arc arcane room now for, for Yoe to bottle up. So this next team fight could be even worse for Blacklist if you, you've got this arcane plus a side device available. Things could be rather challenging. <laughs> Just felt like doing a little freezing field in the middle. That's okay. Just for fun. That's all right. Yeah, that's all right. It's... You can afford. Yeah. Why not? Take a dancing break. I mean, it's so strange to think about, right? Blacklist just qualified for another big tournament. And to end up 2-0 by Execration? And now potentially by TNC? I mean, I know. I, it's that inconsistency, man. It's just something they'll need to sort out. They still have opportunities this game. It's not done and dusted yet. But it is much harder than you'd want it to be considering the circumstances earlier. Okay, and Palace is absolutely ripping through that, that bottom tier 2 tower, my god. This is so much damage with this, uh, with this Elder Dragon for Stars by himself. Tier 2 bottom tower is gone. Of course, he can look towards the bottom tier 3 tower. And that he will perhaps just for a hit or two. In fact, never mind. Palos will just TP up. Not going to risk his life. Just TP back, to the, back towards his top tier 2. Get back to the farm game for a little bit longer. It still has another two minutes on the Aegis anyway, so if he does want to try and force high ground, he certainly can think about it. It almost feels like they're just going to leave this Aegis to just expire and just be happy waiting for the next one. Just kind of use it as a farming Aegis on the tail end of it, but I, I suppose we'll wait and see. Either way, I think TNC are in no rush. No, certainly not. I mean, look at the farm distribution. Jing is eclipsing Gabby's farm. He's basically a core now. Gleipnir Yikes. up into the BKB, not too far off. You're dealing with basically four cores from the side of TNC at this point. Full Ags up for Abed, which again, it's a big turning point. I just feel like I've been saying that too much. We'll see. It should be effective when they zip in, get that big AoE control, get the cleaves off with Natsumi if the position is just right here. But they've got to execute on that. It has to, it has to all work together on the side of Blacklist. There's your five man smoke out from TNC Predator. Radiant are scanning. Through the bottom lane, they'll go. Radiant's bottom tower is under attack. Nobody gonna be around to try and gank up though. Black Strivery. Pretty well aware the smoke has happened by the looks of it. They will retreat. They will be just fine to do so. Nobody getting caught. And it really is all about the evasion game right now for Blacklist. They, they know they can't take any fights. It's just not well advised. They need more farm. There's no two ways about it. Oh. I mean, they're, they're grouping they up. Maybe they'll try to force something. But... They won't. So awkward. Look, look at this ward from TNC. It's right in front of the camp, but not in the usual in front of the camp. Right by the tree line. It still spots the camp. You can still yeah. spot some smokes, spot someone farming, get a good gank off. Blacklist just doesn't have that same vision game. They've got some forward wards down bot in the jungle, a river ward here by mid. It doesn't have that same reach where, you know, it's a spot where players feel a little bit more confident to just farm. And no sneakiness here for Blacklist to try to capitalize on. Do you get the pause out, Abed? A little bit of a connection issue. Hopefully, you know. Hopefully. We'll see. Nothing motivational, you know, nothing to knock them up in the air. <laughs> nothing like that just yet. Not yet. Not yet. But, you know, nobody show Arbid Gabby's net worth right now. He, he, Arbid might have a bad time. You know, it's, in fairness, <laughs> it is climbing. Gabby's net worth is climbing. It's all right. You know, he's higher than the Muerta, the Muerta now. That's good news. And this, Asia expires as well. An opportunity for Blacklist if they so choose. I'm not... I do get why Abed's being very cautious. He knows the side of Vice is there. He knows there's a lot of instantaneous control and that the BKB won't bail him out from, so he does need that Lincoln's up. It's just so much time. 
And again, it's it's just not a very comfy game to go time-wise. Octarine up on Natsumi. So a little bit more HP to play with a Maul. A little bit more uptime in the end range. And the overpower as well. And smoke up off this item pickup. They might find Cuckoo first. They've got vision over the CM. Not the greatest kill, but they might just take it. And they will. Cuckoo has actually got a Ghost Scepter and a 4 star no. and an Ogre Seal Totem. And he will make it out. That is very, very demoralizing for the side of Blackness. That it is. Still, Alos, still Ops, Dragon Ball, they saw oh. Gabby, the arm is going to jump in for a three-man Vortex, trying to salvage his team fight. but try to jump Cuckoo again, but he'll survive. Cuckoo's still making oh. it. Arbit finally takes him down, but they've lost out. Natsumi trying to fight here with Jing. Jing has the help of Cox coming in. Cox looking for that Rolling Thunder, and now Palos with the follow-up damage Natsumi. right onto Natsumi. Natsumi in trouble. Natsumi oh, still trying to fight, barely surviving as Arbit jumps in again for a Vortex, but Natsumi's gone. Arbit's out of mana. Arbit should drop the boot, and he's also down. Gabby. No, oh, Gabby, Gabby, Gabby. Also in danger himself. He'll try to get out. The dead shot Ooh. will land. Gabby still trying to get away, but how do you make it out of this one? Oh, yo, yeah, he'll miss the, the lightning bolt. Maybe Gabby does make it. Oh, does he? No, he's going Lotus no. as well. Why? Huh? <laughs> Why? <laughs> <laughs> what, what's that mean? He's like, we, you're caught, brother. We caught you, brother. <laughs> 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 well, the, the, the thing is, Gabby sent his illusions in like he knew they were coming. Yeah. I don't know. It oh just boy. falters again. They had the right ideas there, right? The vortex set up into the egg with a shard, with a sunray. But Palos was on the lower ground. He couldn't hit. So that little extra time he needed to build up some Fury Swipe stacks to cleave them through, not there. That's enough time to get that utility out from Cuckoo's. Stall out for a time, get the roll from oh. Cox. Just the positioning of, of, of Natsumi when that Vortex came in. He was just off the mark, not quite on that ramp, and it cost him. Oh, boy. What world am I in? It's 2024. TNC are currently about one rex away from taking this series off Blacklist Rivalry and knocking them out of the, the TI-13 road to the international qualifiers. Like, what the hell's happened? You know, you know, Master Cuckoo, Jonathan, this man's mind works in mysterious ways, but you, you can't underestimate this man. <laughs> He's done it again, it looks like. The Peacemaker. Um, He's made the peace. Peacemaker. Oh, yeah. I'm sure he's, he's making made... some peace with a win here. He's making he's his peace going with to his teammates. Peace. His ex-teammates <laughs> having to leave the qualifiers, Jonathan, I think is what he's made peace with. Yeah? <laughs> Shed a tear, Cuckoo. What... Uh, Shed a tear yeah. for the boys, sir. Remember, use his code, whatever that is. <laughs> <laughs> whatever Cuckoo's code is using. Yeah, and all their streams. Oh, uh, these guys are going to pop off in their streams. You know, Yo is going to turn oh. on, Cuckoo's going to turn on. Uh, Armel's going to be, I don't know if Armel's even watching. If he is, he's got some words to say, I'm sure. This is, this is something. They could salvage. It could still be salvageable this game, too. They're 23k behind, but they could still win. Oh, it's so not over. So this is. This is Dota 2, Jonathan. We're not playing that other game. Whatever it's called. It's Gabby. <laughs> well, not Gabby again. Gabby can't afford to keep dying first. It, it, it's too much. We're gonna head south slowly. Cuckoo, he'll be on the front lines here with the rest of his squad. He'll reveal himself from over his oh, Arbit. Gonna oh, sit oh, in front Arbit. of the target with the Hex what? out. Arbit's been caught with the Hex, but he's still fighting at the BKB up in time. So get for the Vortex. Onto one. Rolling Thunder from Tim still going as well as that Thunder God's Wrath is going to give info on the whole side. Cox still chasing. Has Cox gone too far? It doesn't really seem like it. Natsumi now, in the meantime, trying to fight Palos with his BKB, but the BKB is about to wear off Palos. Palos can turn around. Natsumi needs to get out. Natsumi's in trouble. The Ursa, he'll force stuff away. He'll be fine for now. Instead, they'll lose Tim's on the Rubik. They might even lose Gabby on the Brewmast. Two down. For Blacklist, nobody is lost the TNT Predator. As it seems as though TNT can think about going through the bot lane as Cox will find a third. Zhao will cop it. And Roshan, it is up in 12 seconds if they want to wait for it. 
That is insanely quick timing lining up there for the side of TNC. Blacklist, again, just a little bit scattered. That counter smoke out from TNC. The movement forward, they had vision here for Blacklist. Couldn't just set up around it. it the egg pops way far in the back. Natsumi so isolated away from everyone else. And I have to say, these item pickups, especially from Gabby, I don't think it's panning out. He went Octarine as well. Like, only defensive item is Manta. No BKB, no A on this. So he can't just yeah. jump in and pop the split. That's costing him so much. It's just so reliant on Abit to get these zips. Like, it's all on one man to zip Vortex. It's way too much. He got instantly hexed last time as well. They fought under the same cliff ward that TNT had earlier on. Uh, it, it seems like Blacklist are going to be having to stay home this TI, Jonathan. Mega Creeps now, or well, not yet. There is still a top lane of Barracks that is exposed, so no Mega Creeps yet, but it's, it is getting scary, John. 30k net worth disadvantage now for Blacklist rivalry. They'll lose their Tormentor on top. And again, uh, TNC, they've, all they've got to do is go back for that one lane of Barracks. And then the game becomes infinitely easier. Blacklist, they're not out of it yet. Yet again, we're playing Dota 2 here, Jonathan. They can still do it. It's possible. Yeah. We've I seen think the closest, the closest success we've seen for Blacklist was that mid fight. If the Vortex was on the low ground instead of the high ground, and if Natsumi could have gotten those hits in, they could have killed off Cox earlier, wiped out Cuckoo as well. Didn't have to worry about the roll as BKBs fade away. The game becomes very different. They give the Aegis to Jing. But he has MKB. Huh? This guy is fully a core. It doesn't matter. Yeah. He's got yeah. damage. He's massive. He's, is he actually more farm than Cox? He, he is. Yeah, he's more farm than Abed. He's, he's almost the same farm as Natsumi. Oh my goodness. Yeah, I mean, this Muerta is certainly <laughs> starting to hurt with the, uh, with the amount of damage output she has gone for. It's, uh... This could be a very, very challenging scenario for Blacklist to try and defend this final lane of barracks. They've got to give, give it a crack. There are not that many buybacks ready right now, John. It's really only Natsumi and Tins who have buyback on Blacklist. Gabby's still short 500 gold and Arbit's short 1.8k gold because he just bought out the Refresher Orb. He wants that double Vortex to, to try and help his team win this next fight. Let's see if they can make it happen. They're going to try and make the jump in already. Jing. We'll wave them goodbye. <laughs> there goes the your range around the banner. <laughs> I mean, why not place the flag as Jing is going to get jumped. They'll try to burst out the Muerta, but he is still perfectly fine as Palos has already found Tim's. Natsumi, he'll get rid of the first life of the Muerta, but he's got the second. The top rack still under siege, so force the cliff out to try and protect it. As now the Vortex is out from Arbit. Still trying for Jing. The Muerta still surviving throughout all of this. There's no Cyclone up, but she's still fine for refresh now. Going back for Pierce the Veil. Gabby's in trouble. Gabby gets away just barely, but they've lost the top racks. Mega Creeps are incoming. They'll try again for Jing by the looks of it as Natsumi's oh, going to try and jump in, but Natsumi can't geez. get the jump done, and now he's dead. Natsumi's down. But he'll fly back. Arbin with the Vortex trying desperately to save this this team fight. They'll jump the uh, the Zeus. Yoe is now officially gone. No buyback. But Natsumi needs to run once again. He cannot afford to die. Jing, he'll get his TP cancelled. Maybe they can at least find a secondary kill on the Muerta and they will. So two down. It does cost you a buyback. Mega Creeps are incoming, but they are still in this game too. That they are. Two buybacks for that though. Buybacks at the ready now for TNC. Off a couple of bounties being found here. So they are still ready. They're still tier 2s defending for TNC. Blacklist. Don't have a rush. They can try to sneak out. They have to find this a win right here. They need to maximize on this. Palos. Oh, jump in again. Palos. Natsumi. Natsumi's been caught. Palos will find him. Natsumi, though, he gets his BKB off in time. But try to chase down Palos on the DK. Arbit zipping from a mile away, will jump right in onto Cox, although Natsumi still dropping low, needs to be very, very cautious. He can't afford to die. The game's over if the Ursa is dead. They're wrapping around though. There's your Vortex again. They're on a Cox, but Cox is just too tanky. He's not dying yet. Natsumi jumps in another time, but Cox, he'll swashbuckle out. Arbit will chase him down. The Pango is finally gone. On a Cuckoo, they'll go. They'll try it for the CM now, and Cuckoo, of course, will be going down with his Pango. It's oh, only Palos going. to survive. The tier fours are under siege though. Palos, what's he up to? He's popped the dragon for He'll try for Gabby now with the Orca, but the Manta is there from Gabby. Everything's okay. 
The Ancient is still alive, though it is completely exposed here for Blacklist. Wow, this is this is a rough time for Blacklist now. And that was their moment to find more. Not finding Palos does cut off the bite of that engagement quite a fair bit for TNC. They all have buybacks ready, they're all respawning. And here, there was just no objectives. The timing of that for Blacklist just not lining up. If it was a little bit closer to, say, post Aegis, they could have tried to make a play for Roshan, get some big tools off of that, go for these tier twos, and just try to work that map control, get some forward vision down. They still have fight, for sure. TNC, they did force that movement up top, and utilizing Jing front line just to clear out the last set of racks. And this double vortex from Abed is still massive. If they can follow through on it. And to be fair, the coordination from Blacklist this time has been looking a lot sharper. Johnny Wells' eggs are lining up on the Vortex targets. Natsumi can get his hits in. It just doesn't feel like he can burst them fast enough. We'll have to see. TNC. Still in a really strong position this game. Blacklist not out of it yet, but... With only one random building protecting the region, two random buildings, these creeps can just go in, get work done if they're not ready. Oh, yeah, it's a very good. What, what up, else can you do up. here? Oh, they're smoking up. They're gone. I, I don't know what the smoke is going to do here, though. They are hanging right by the T2 tower. In fact, never mind. They're into the Radiant Jungle. There is an opening. Gabby will scout out with the illusion. They know exactly where Cuckoo is, so they'll make the jump in right off of Jing. Trying to burst down the couple support duo. Jing, he's going to get the BKB off. Cuckoo somehow still alive. Finally will go down. They'll at least find themselves a Crystal Maiden pick off. But they've got to go back for the base. The Mega Creeps are incoming again. They just don't have any room to look for support pickoffs. It has to be a big fight win into at least one lane that you're fully committed on, with some person staying back to defend. Lincoln's fully done now in Abed, so he has some protection from the Hexes from the instantaneous control. There's more play now for the Storm. I just, I just don't know if that's enough. Like, once Jin gets one more damage item up, and this Smurt is already doing a ton of work, it, it gets a little bit dicey for the side well, that's Blacklist. Not, not that it isn't dicey already. That they can't get out of their base. Like, that's a huge no. top wave of creeps. They've, they've got to go back and defend. Gabby will do so. Lines being drawn out by the die. Triangle here from the master. Cuckoo saying this is where they should be <laughs> hanging out. Or maybe this is where they want to hang out. Yeah. So, TNC like they... Predator, I mean, yeah. Nice. They could wait out Roshan as well. Like, there's no pressure a minute and a half until we see the respawn timer. And they can just play it safe, get Roshan, go again. And Blacklist, that, uh, her options are limited. You've got that big AoE dragon, uh, dragon tail as well for the, the DK. Oh, yeah. The other dragon form now as well. You can't underestimate that. It uh, can be a huge stun on your whole side if you're not too careful. As... Well, they are indeed waiting for Roshan. So TNC are going to play it very safe. 51 minutes in. I say safe though, John. Don't forget, you know, those tier 5 items, they can make the game very imbalanced if it does get there. They've yeah. smoked up I see mirror they shields don't wait. being a big one. Nah. I see a mirror shield on Abed with Lincolns being absolutely painful. But I, I don't know if you can hold out for 9, 8 and a half minutes here. Let's see if they gotta go again. Okay. They'll smoke out, they're just holding this dire triangle at the moment. No real vision to, to be here from the dire end of things, so they should just be able to guess really where they are hanging about. I just wonder whether TNT do try to pressure now or do they go for Roshan? Well, what's Gabby doing now? He's going for Shivas at this point. Still no A on disc. Has the BKB at the very least. It just feels like he gets bursted down. And the armor is nice, but... Again, I don't know if it's enough Gabby's oh. end. <laughs> 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 uh, classic uh. SCA game. Whenever the oh, enemy says God. end, you never ever try to end. Not in the SCA, sir. No. They will play Definitely like not. their lives depend on it. Every single time. <laughs> end. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, the classic SCA bait. You'll love it. Yes. 
Uh, there's longer roach respawn as well. Two minutes on the timer. So farm and chill is the name of the game so far. I've got the full silver edge up for Jink. He's fully amped up on damage. Honestly, at this point, you could consider selling the Mage Slayer. Maybe go for a Daedalus or some stats if you wished. Like Scotty wouldn't be too bad up against the healing. Wouldn't mind. Or Muerto, but she hits like a truck. Blacklist. They can try to sneak around. There's some good forward vision here, though, from the side of TNC. It's not like they can sneak from this right side flank. They're coming. Smoke is there. Thunder God's Wrath will be thrown out once again. Nobody from Blacklist Court. They are just hanging by their Ancient. One minute left for the Roshan to respawn. And that's exactly what TNT are waiting for. They'll just go back for the Roshan pit. There's no real need to risk without the Roshan being taken out. And the, long, the wait isn't too long anymore. You do give a bit of time for Blacklist to get their buybacks available. You know, and that is going to be a... I think all of them should really have by the time this Roshan is gone. So the next team fight does certainly have the potential to drag out the game even longer here for Blacklist. If you can oh, yeah. get to it. And again, right. tier 5 items right after, if you can win the next team fight. Like, the, those tier 5 items, they can change everything. You really don't want to see the tier 5s, do you? You keep mentioning them, Mike. You don't want to see them, do you? Every You know what happens when you talk about tier 5s, when both of us talk about it. I'll be frank, John. I, I don't care if they come out or not. You know, I'm just saying. Blacklist do probably need them. <laughs> oh, Roshan. Jing spots it. And you can't miss it. Nice freebie coming out here for TNC. Refresh, Roche Banner after ready. There's that Sheba's guard up now for Gabby. Still 700 away from buyback. So it's an awkward opportunity here for the side of TNC. Aegis onto Jing instead. And now we should be able to look for some of that commitment to come in here from TNC. Again, there's, there's nowhere to play for Blacklist. They're stuck in the high ground. The Megas are always just constantly shoving in. They've got good forward vision here from the side of TNC. Not quite in the high ground, though. But they know Blacklist can't sneak around here at all. For TNC, for Blacklist, it boils down to, again, it's just this Vortex-Egg combo. Having Natsumi get enough hits off, doing enough damage to get sleeving off onto three heroes in a Vortex, ideally. See if that can happen. TNC going for the last smoke here, it looks like. But they jump first. Who do you get first is the question. They'll jump in, they found Xiao. Xiao's gonna be forced off the way though, but will survive for now. The Vortex oh. is out from Arbit, but it's not quite enough quite yet. He'll still try for Palos. Vortex again from Arbit, not oh, out Arbit. yet. Arbit in trouble, he'll Vortex away, but he's out of mana. Still with the BKB, he does manage to run away. They will jump in again here from Cox with the Rolling Thunder, and now the full Mega Creep squad is around the, the Ancient. You've got a lot of damage flying in on this Ancient now. The Rubik has been caught tense. He'll be fine for now with the Glimmer Capers, the Vortex from Arbit catching out four of them. But where's your follow-up damage? They'll try to jump Jing on the Muerta, but Drink's perfectly fine. Jing is fine. Gabby the one to go down. He's got no buyback. He's short 300 gold. Natsumi oh, will jump in, he'll get the Aegis off Jin. Arbit again with the Vortex, onto two targets, they'll try for Yoe, the Zeus is fine though, Natsumi and Arbit, they're the one in trouble, Natsumi's down, but he'll buy back as the Ancient, it's still the falling, ancient. they've got to try and defend it, but it's over, it is over, TNT have done it, they will kick out <laughs> Blacklist rivalry, from the road to TI qualifiers.